So, we start a new day, huh? and uh, just to remember, it's wonderful to be still alive, huh? to start a new day. <laughs> it's not obvious, is it? <laughs> we never know what happened next. So just to remember that brings happiness into the mind, doesn't it? When we have at our disposal uh, a path that can lead us to transformation, liberation from unnecessary suffering, from any suffering, and uh, <clears throat> also the teaching on meditation, which is such a um, powerful mean of self-learning, learning about the kind of life we carry in ourselves, what we manifest externally, and how we can transform our world into a, a world of peace, which is the way of saying a happiness. It's a happiness of peace not the happiness of getting what one wants or not getting what one doesn't want. But the meditation is actually learning how to accept the thing we don't want and be at peace with getting you know, what we don't like and be at peace when we don't get things we really like, we want. So it's very profound and uh, um, <clears throat> profound and transforming journey, right? And it's not, it seemed very easy on the surface. It may seem easy. And I, sometimes I like to speak about meditation before we start, like that, you know, rather than to start straight on to the practice. Because remember what we are doing in practice, we have... If some of you have read a little bit about Buddhism, you realize that we are endowed with six senses, six sense doors, which have their own respective objects, like six, six sense objects, right? Form for the eyes, smell for the olfactive sense, sound for the auditive sense, and so on, right? The idea of meditation is not to um, become somebody who just shut down all the senses, right? The practice of the meditation is to see each moment as they are. So if you hear a very a loud sound, you can learn, you know, we, the whole of meditation is about learning how to, how to be non-reactive. The responsive is different. Reactive is some spontaneous ideas that you have and you have to act on it. Responsive is the mindfulness you need to say, is it necessary now or not? Or your mind becomes accustomed to hear, to um, be in contact with the six senses without having to go to, into a kind of um, <clears throat> crazy mood by not just reacting, but also proliferating on the sound of things, or proliferating on the thoughts that come up, or proliferating on the smell that we smell, or, you know, just adding again and again. So the meditation is to teach you how to stop adding. In that moment, right now, in the practice of meditation, after life will, will ask you to add stories, to add responses, to add, sometimes you have to. Sometimes you find yourself reacting brusquely. <laughs> it's okay. And so remember that meditation is not here to make you into a persona that is a good meditator. You don't have to become a good meditator. You have to learn how to listen to life and the senses and their object and such a rich terrain of observation you know the five candas 
mind and body that you can also divide into form, feeling, Vedana, Kaya, form, Vedana, feelings, Sanya, perception, Sankara, mental formations, and Vijnana, which is a platform on which the six senses land. So have compassion for your busy mind. It has a lot of work to do to kind of, you know, to um, uh, process, you know, all the... You have a sound, brings up a memory. You have a sight, that brings up another memory. You have a feeling, you just want to, don't want it. And I create a whole story about why you don't want this feeling. And so meditation is cutting short of all these things, but it's not cutting short by suppressing anything. It's not cutting short by ignoring what's happening, okay? It's something much more subtle. You listen, but you learn to be with the mindfulness of, of you know, with mindfulness to listen to these things and notice what is happening around the mind. Because the more you notice, the more you're mindful, the more you're aware. As I said to you, for me, in my experience, it's like cutting the fuel of proliferation. But we don't do it artificially. For do this, it's really, you have a judgment if you do this. You do this through mindfulness. And sometimes mindfulness doesn't go as fast as you will. You wish it will disappear straight away, but mindfulness will not make things disappear straight away. They will disappear once you, once you stop clinging. Okay, the habit is to cling and grasp. If the, if the thoughts, the stories, the feelings are still there, okay, they have their time, their lifespan, so to speak. Understand? They have their own time, depending on how much you have got the habit to grasping at them. Through aversion, through attraction, through not seeing clearly, and so on. So, when you meditate, you're not here to become a, a stone Buddha, right? Or the perfect sadhu, Buddhist sadhu. Yeah, you're here to be alive through mindfulness, right? Your refuge of, a li of life is mindfulness. Now, you observe. And you stay connected. Sometimes people observe and they disconnect. Right? And that, it's like there's one that observes me observing and me that is observed. You feel you've got two me's for a while. And people get really kind of, um, you know, a, a strange feeling when they experience that. They feel discombobulated, we say in English, the word I like. They feel confused by that. I've got two self now. I only had one before I meditated. Now I've got two. What's happening to me? So, this kind of transition, you need to bear with it. Do you understand? You have the feeling you're separate from yourself, but you're not separating from yourself. It's just a feeling. Just a sensation. It's just a perception. Because maybe you never use, you know, regularly the, the part of you that is observing, observer, seer, the knowing, the knowing mind. But watch out, because if you, mindfulness is lacking, then you are tightening the self. You're, you're kind of tightening that, that experience of me, shutting it down almost. Be careful. Don't try to shut it down. Let, it, let, let the mind relax. Let the body relax. Maybe you never relaxed in your life. Maybe you always felt driven by things. And the mind doesn't get a chance to notice what it is to feel relaxed. You haven't got maybe a contrast between the two. You need a contrast to see it clearly. So maybe if you never relaxed, you say, oh my God, what's become of me if I relax? You know, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to be nobody special. Those who relax may be just lazy. We have this idea that if you relax, we're lazy, maybe. 
Well, try it out for your own experience. Just find out, you know. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not true. You don't know yet <coughs> until you yourself experience it. Huh? That makes sense? Yeah? So, once we start meditation, you know, the meditation is, uh, you know, it's like the laboratory where you observe at the source, at the source level, yeah, what's going on and what manifests in your mind, projecting itself on you, in the world outside. So, um, now we can start proper formal meditation practice. And you um, make sure your back is upright, the spine is um, elongated, as if your head, the top of your head was reaching the ceiling, not your nose, your head. Pardon me? That's right. <laughs> I think I just want my own agenda. <laughs> so, we can do the chanting at the end. Yeah, we can change it. I mean, yeah. you know, in in our in Buddhist in our practice now, we do the, the for example the morning chanting after the meditation. You know, so we can do meditation now and then we do the chanting afterwards <laughs> before they forget everything. <laughs> so close your eyes gently and. Uh, Sit comfortably so you can hold the posture for a little while. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> And as I know that most of you are already experienced meditators, I can have confidence that you can find a way of stabilizing your mind in such fashion that you are able to be truly really present with the experience of each moment in a relaxed and easeful way. You can go around the whole body from the top of the head down to your feet, gently feeling the sensation in your body, whether it's hot or cold or painful or pleasant. Make sure that in your posture your chin is slightly tucked in so that the, the back of your neck is nicely elongated. So you spend a little bit of time just noticing the body, entering the body. Sometimes this practice is called sweeping the body with mindfulness. You can take your time. It's not a concentration practice, just noticing, observing the sensation that appears in your body. Even though you are observing your body, it keeps your mindfulness broad and open. 
Keep the mind, keep the attention. You are aware of your body feelings, but you are also aware of the space around the body. One doesn't need to deny the other. And then you feel your natural breathing. Once you've gone through the whole body, you can go back to the breathing, listening to your breathing rather than focusing on one spot. You just listen to the experience of the breath, in breath and out breath. In breath and out breath. Just your natural breathing. Don't try to control your breath, that's not the point right now. Simply to listen inwardly to the rhythm of your breathing. And notice sometimes we shorten the out breath, so be mindful that at that point on the out breath, we shorten this part of the breath out of habit. We, we have a habit, we want to take an in-breath very quickly. So you can just let the out-breath end naturally. Then what you can do with the breath, you can make it, turn it into a kind of background, a background object, which means you're still aware of the breath, but you're not so, it's not in the forefront. You can put it in a, as a background object, and you observe the various feelings, sensations, perceptions, thoughts, story, memory, thought of the future, of the past. You have now 
a space that enables those things to come and go and be seen as truly anicca. So focusing on anicca. Focusing on also noticing an aspect of dukkha. That sometimes translates as that which is difficult to bear. We want to get rid of dukkha because it's unpleasant. So instead of getting rid of it now, you just through the Refuge in mindfulness, you have now the strength to stay relaxed with it and let it be until it naturally moves on. And I would like to remind you that um, as you observe yourself, you observe the mind, the body, there is a, a natural, kind and friendly relationship in that observation. It's not, not going to war with each other or with their mind. You're not going into a battle with the mind. You just kindly and gently notice whatever is arising in your consciousness.
Notice if you are absorbed into anything right now, such as your thinking or your absorbed into feelings, whether now remembering the past, proliferating about the future, you notice and then as you notice also that as soon as mindfulness is present, thanks 
things seem to disappear quite quickly. Not because you pushed them, but just because it's the realization that things are more unsubstantial than delusion makes us believe.
If you can, please re-establish a good posture when you feel your back is slumping a bit. But gently, you can redress your, your spine.
So we, we can do the morning chanting in Hindi. Yosu Bhagava Arha Samma Sambhuddho Ye jo Bhagavan Samyak Sambhudd Arhan Swakkato Yen Bhagavata Dhamma Evam Bhagavan ke dvara bhali bhaanti akhyatar Supati Panno Yas Bhagavato सावक संग हो और भगवान का श्रावक संग जो ठीक प्रकार से माग पर चल रहे हैं हिमे ही सकारे ही यथा 
अरहंगारोपिते ही अभिपूजयामा तमयं भगवंत सदम्मं ससंगं हम उन भगवान बो धर्म और संघ की यथोचित सत्कार से वंदना करते हैं साधुनो बनते भग सुचिरा परिनिबुतो पी हमारा सौभाग्य कि भगवान को महान निर्वाण की प्राप्ति के बाद भी पक्षी माजनतानु कंपा मानसा आगे आने वाली पीढ़ी पर अनुकंपा थी इमे सकारे दुगता पन्नाकार भूते पटिगन हातु भगवान आदर पूर्वक दी गई हमारी तुच्छ बैंड स्वीकार करें महाकम दीघ रतन हिताय सुखाय हमारे दीर्घ कालिखित और सुख के लिए हर हंग सम्मा संबद्धो भगवा बुद्धं भगवंतं अभिवादेमि मैं हर हंग भगवान सम्यक संबुद्ध का अभिवादन करता स्वाखतो भगवता धम्मो धम्मम नमस्सामि भगवान के द्वारा आख्या धर्म को नमन करता हूँ सुपटी पन्नो भगवतो सावक संघो संघं नमामि भगवान के मार्ग को भली भांति प्रतिपादित करने वाले संघ को प्रणाम करता हूँ अन्मयं बुद्ध से भगवतो पुंभ भाग नमकारम करो मसे आए हम भगवान की प्रारंभिक वंदना करें नमो तस सम्भासं बुद्ध से नमो तस भगवतो अर्हतो सम्भासं बुद्ध से नमो तस भगवतो अर्हतो सम्भासं बुद्ध से उनारं भगवान समेत संबुद्ध को नमस्कार उनारं भगवान समेत संबुद्ध को नमस्कार उनारं भगवान समेत संबुद्ध को नमस्कार अन्नमयं बुद्धाभितुतिम करो मसे आए हम भगवान की स्तुति करें योशु तथा गतु हर हंग सम्मासं बुद्धो वे जो तथागत अरहंत और सम्यक संबुद्ध है विज्ञाचरण संपन्नो ज्ञान और आचरण से संपन्न सुगतो लोक विदु सुगत लोक ज्ञाता अनुत्तरो पुरी सदम सारथी भटके हुए मनुष्यों को अनुपम सारथी की भांति नित करने वाले सत था देव मनुष्यानं बुद्धो भगवा देवो और मनुष्यों के शास्ता भगवान बुद्ध यो इमं लोकं सदेवक समारकं सब्रम्मकं जिन्होंने इस लोक में देव मार ब्रह्मो ससमना ब्राह्मणिंग पाजं सदे मनुष्यं सायं अभिन्या सच्चिकत पवेदेशी श्रमण ब्राह्मणों देव और मनुष्यों के लिए अपने दिव्य ज्ञान से साक्षात्कार कर सत्य को प्रकाश में लाया योदम मम देशे सी आदि कल्याणं मध्य कल्याणं परियोसान कल्याणं जो उस धर्म को सिखाते हैं आरंभ में कल्याणकारी मध्य में कल्याणकारी और अंत में भी कल्याणकारी है 
भगवान ने परिपूर्ण परिशुद्ध ब्रह्मचर्य धर्म अर्थ और व्यंजन सहित प्रकाशित किया तमहम भगवंत अभिपूजयामी तमहम भग तंग सिर सा नमामि उन भगवान की वंदना करता हूँ उन भगवान को सिर झुकाकर नमन करता हूँ अन्नमयंगम करो मसे आय हम धर्म की स्तुति करें यो सो स्वाकतो भगवता धम्मो जो धर्म भगवान ने भली प्रकार से समझाया संदिट्ठी को स्पष्ट दिखाई देने वाला है अकाली को कालातीत है हे ही पसी को अन्वेषणा को प्रोत्साहित करने वाला है उपनाई को अंतर्मुखी करने वाला है अच्छतंग वेदित पिन्यु ही प्रत्येक प्रज्ञावान को स्वयं अनुभव होने वाला है तमहम धम अभी पूजे आमी उस धर्म की मैं वंदना करता हूँ तमहम धम सिर सा नमानी उस धर्म को मैं सिर झुकाकर नमन करता हूँ अंधभयंग संगा भी तू तिम करो मसे आए अब हम संग की स्तुति करें यो सो सुपटी पन्नो भगवत सावक संगो भगवान के श्रावक संग जो कि भली भांति मार्ग पर चल रहे हैं उजुपटी पन्नो भगवत सावक संगो सीधे मार्ग पर चल न्याय पटी पन्नो भगवत सावक संग ज्ञान के मार्ग पर चल रहे हैं सामी ची पटी पन्नो भगवत सावक संग और सही प्रकार से चल यदि दंग चारी पुरी सयुक्त अठ पुरी स पुंगला जो ये चार युगल और आठ प्रकार के आ रहे हैं इस भगवतो सावक संग हो ऐसे भगवान के श्रावक संग हैं आहु ने यो आहु ने यो आतिथ्य के योग्य हैं दक्षि ने यो दक्षिणा देने के योग्य अंजलि करनी हो और नमस्कार के योग्य हैं अनु तरंग पुण्य के तंग लोक स भगवान के संग इस लोक में अतुलनीय पुण्य क्षेत्र है संघंग अभी पूजयामी उस संग की मैं पूजा करता हूँ तमहम संघंग उस संग को मैं सिर झुकाकर नमन करता हूँ भगवान बुद्ध परिशुद्ध और करुणा के महासागर है यो चंत शुद्ध बर ज्ञान चनो जो अति शुद्ध ज्ञान के चक्षु है अंदामी बुद्धंग है मादरे न तंग उन भगवान की मैं आदर से वंदना करता हूँ धम्मोपदी वियत सत्नो उन शास्त्र का धर्म दीप की भांति है यो मग पाका मत भेद भिन्न को लोकोत्तरो योच तदत्थ दीपनो जो मार्ग और उसके लोकोत्तर अमृत फल को प्रकाशित करने वाला है अंदामी धम्मम अहम आदरे नतन मैं उस धर्म की सादर वंदना करता हूँ 
संगो सुखेता भ्याति संति सन्नितो भगवान का संग जो साधना हेतु फलदायक धर्म क्षेत्र है सुगतान बोधको जिन्होंने सुगत भगवान बुद्ध के बाद शांति का साक्षात्कार किया है लोन आप ही नारियो सुमेधसो और जो मेधावी आर्यों ने सभी आकांक्षाओं का त्याग किया है मैं उस की आसादर वंदना करता हूँ मायापमसवुपंदवा माहुंतु तस् प्रभाव सिंधिया मेरे पुण्य के प्रभाव से कोई क्लेश उत्पन्न न हो इन तथागतो लोके उपन हर हंसो इस लोक में तथागत सम्यक संबंध उत्पन्न हुए हैं ब्रह्मोच देसित नियानिको उपसमिक परिनिबानिको संबोधगा सुगता परेदितो और सुगत भगवान बुद्ध ने ऐसा धर्म देशित किया है जो मुक्ति की ओर ले जाने वाला परम शांति तक पहुंचाने वाला निर्वाण को प्राप्त कराने वाला और संबोधि का मार्ग प्रशस्त करने वाला है एवं हम उस धर्म को सुनकर ऐसा समझे जाति भी दुखा जन भी दुख है जरा भी दुखा वृद्धावस्था भी दुख मरणम भी दुखम मृत्यु भी दुख सोक परिदेव दुख दो मन से उपाया सा भी दुख क्रंदन शारीरिक और मानसिक पीड़ा और निराशा भी दुख है अपिए ही संयोग दुखो अप्रिय ये ही विपयोग दुखो प्रियो का वियोग दुख है यम पी इच्छम न लगती तम भी दुखम जो भी इच्छा करते हैं उसका न प्राप्त होना दुख है संकित न पंच उपादान खंदा दुखा संक्षेप में पांचों तादात्म के खंड ही दुख है से थम अर्थात रूप उपादान खंदो रूप खंड से तादात में वेदनु पादान खंडो वेदना खंड से तादात संयु पादान खंडो संज्ञा खंड से तादात संकार उपादान खंडो संस्कार खंड से तादात विज्ञान उपादान खंडो इंद्रियों के विज्ञान खंड से तादात में ये संपरिन्याय धर्मानो सुभग एवं बहुल साव के विनीति इनका संपूर्ण ज्ञान धारण करने के लिए भगवान ने बार बार अपने अनुयायियों को इस प्रकार अनुदेशित किया एवं भाग चपन से भगवत साव के सुअनुशासनी बहुला पवत्ति और भगवान ने अपने श्रावकों को आगे निर्देशित किया रूपंग अनिचंग रूप अनित्य वेदना निचा वेदना नित्य है संज्ञा निचा संज्ञा नित्य है संखारा अनिच्छा संस्कार नित्य है विज्ञानम अनिच्छा इंद्रियों का विज्ञान नित्य है रूपम अनत्ता रूप अनात्म है वेदना अनत्ता वेदना अनात्म है संज्ञा अनत्ता संज्ञा अनात्म है संखारा अनत्ता विज्ञान अनत्ता इंद्रियों का विज्ञान अनात्म है सबे संखारा अनिच्छा सारे संस्कार नित्य हैं सबे धम्मा अनत्ता थी सारे ही धम्मा अनात्म है ते मयंगो तिन नाम हा जाति जरा मरने न हम सभी जन्म वृद्धावस्था मृत्यु सोके ही परिदेव 
दुखे ही दो मन से ही उपाया से दुखो तिन्ना दुख परेता शोक क्रंदन शारीरिक और मानसिक दुख निराशा जैसे दुखों से पीड़ित और बंधे रहते हैं अपेव नाम मस्य केवलस दुख खंदस अंत क्रिया पन्या ये था थी आए हम इस सारे दुख खंद का अंत करने का संकल्प करें चिर पर निबुतम पितंग भगवन शरणंगता धम्मंच संगंच अमन भगवान जो बहुत समय पहले परिनिर्वाण को प्राप्त हुए एवं उनके धर्म और संग की शरण में गए हैं भगवतो शासनम यथा यथा बलम मनसी करो मनुपटि पजामा भगवान के द्वारा प्रतिपादित मार्ग का हम यथा शक्ति और यथा सजगता से पालन करते हैं शासनो पटिपति हिमस्य केवल दुख खंद अंत क्रियाय संवत्त तू और इस मार्ग का प्रतिपादन हमें हर प्रकार के दुखों के अंत की ओर ले जाए Sometimes we can accompany you on the party, <laughs> but I don't want to overdrive. Okay, so I, uh, Mr. Dad's leading is really nice. So okay. we carry on like that. No, no, we carry on as it is. But it was nice to join you in a way. You can do it in Pali, and I do it in English. Oh, could, we can try. We can yeah. see what the yeah, very good. And, and it's nice not to be leading it sometimes. <laughs> we stay like this tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's why I'm being concerned. <laughs> no, it's okay. So now we are about half an hour before the meal ceremony. Yeah. Um, we can do walking meditation. Yes. And uh, do you want a refresher course for your? Walking meditation practice, or have you got it? I know those who are, you know, um, been around meditation world for a long time, you know what to do, yes? But just to refresh your memory, hmm, so that your feet, just take them as if you were, just the way you use your, your body and your nostrils with the air coming in and out, without controlling at one point or another. Just naturally, you know, just just like you pay attention to the natural um, rhythm of your breath, you pay attention to the natural contact of your the sole of your feet with the ground. Hmm? That's like your stabilizer. You stay uh, with that, yeah. And then uh, you don't concentrate on your sole of your feet, otherwise you break your neck. You won't be knowing where you're going. <laughs> Be careful, you can absorb into your feet and you lose the fact that you're walking. Yeah? So make sure you're aware of the space you're walking in, aware of um, the, sense, the sense doors. Yeah? There's no need to shut down anything. We're not here to close the doors of the senses. I think we are more capable of than that. We here to listen to the sense object, sense doors, and be mindful of them. How about that? And that means we just don't follow them. And you follow them. Remember what I said yesterday? This is your allies. That's what you're learning. Do you understand? Don't try to get over what you need to learn. Huh? Jump over all the mistakes you could be doing by shutting everything down. It's not even mistakes or anything. Do you remember that? Life is not mistakes. We just happen to be here. 
And now we just have to surf it, I say, don't surf the wave of samsara lightly, right? Don't keep <laughs> sinking into the water or do things that are going to make you jump and drown you. Yeah? So there are lots of ups and downs in life. And even in your walking meditation, one moment you're happy, the next moment you're unhappy. One moment you're peaceful, the next moment you have a big project in hand. One moment, you know, time is present. The next moment, back into the tomorrow, yesterday, <laughs> last year, 20 years ago, next year, next moment, what you will do. The mind is very creative on the path of delusion. It has all the potential to keep going for a long, long time. But now we're learning. Is it worth following the path of delusion or is it worth changing lineage and going into something that maybe bring the quality that my heart is yearning for? Right? Like happiness, peace, clarity of mind, many qualities. I could make a long, long list of these qualities that comes together when we listen to that the refuge, this refuge of Dhamma. Okay? So please carry on your meditation. Every mistake, do not even proliferate on it. I always, you know, we tend to quote Ajahn Chah, we, we trust him seriously. <laughs> like, sometimes the percentage differ from one person to another, but basically what he's pointing to is that 80% of the time, we don't get it right. Basically, we're just normal human being alive. Huh? Nothing special. It's just norm. 20%, we feel we got it right. Yeah? We may get it right. And right and wrong doesn't really exist in this practice, you know? It's just, maybe you, your mindfulness is not yet sharp enough. Not concentration, this is where people get really misled. It's not concentration that's wrong. You, all of us have concentration, enough concentration. Mindfulness and the balance of concentration, that's what is missing most of the time. It's like pia playing pianos. I mean, I've never, I, I studied piano, but, or dance, let's say, you know. You may have all the technique in the world, when we come to dancing, you have to, sometimes it's soft, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's quick. Yeah? There's a, another element to the technique. It's not, dance is not meditation, but there's another element to the technique to become a good dancer. As a practitioner, the element, you know, beyond the technique is actually the balance, the, the equilibrium between effort, for example, for effort, energy and mindfulness, this wonderful open mind that we can discover, that can incorporate everything, no need to push anything, and at that point you can truly get in touch with the law of Anisha, Dukkha, Anatta. Don't think about it, the insight will come naturally. Yeah, you don't need to cogitate on Anicca Dukkanata for too long because you'll miss it. Then you just plunge into Dukkha because you didn't get what you wanted. <laughs> and for Dukkha you read the time to get it right. So just relax. Yeah? Life takes care of us, takes care of us. Yeah.